I'm out on a, a different hike this time. It's it's not even I wouldn't even call it a day hike. It's late in the day again. Uh, I'm off of one Route 165 in Exeter, Rhode Island, Arcadia uh, State Park Management Area. 165 is right there, and behind me where I'm heading is all these sand dunes and stuff. There's up ahead of me. There's a path that goes, or a trail that goes off to to the left and up a hill, leads to another big sandy area, and I'm actually snake hunting this time, looking for uh, different reptiles and stuff, and this right here, this is my snake hook, so if I can, if I get anything, I can handle it without getting bitten, some stuff, it doesn't matter, I'll be, I'll just be able to pick it up, but... I don't know if I'm going to find anything. Again, it's really late in the day, about 7 o'clock. Um, I think I, pushing it, I probably have about an hour out here. So I'm going to get started, see if I find anything. Check it out. I definitely didn't get totally skunked yet. Um, just come out here and looked under a couple different rocks, and there it is. This is another ringneck snake. It's got the... You can see that the prehensile tail, which just means that it, it uses it to, to wrap around different things to hang on. Um, again, like I said, when, the last time I got one of these, they eat, um, they eat salamanders and bugs and things like that. Sometimes very small frogs if they can get them. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is it. And there's the colors. Again, on the belly, the ring neck is where it gets its name from. I'm going to let this guy go. I actually just found it right underneath that rock right there. It was right here. So I'm going to I'm gonna put this little guy back where it was, back where I found it, let it go. And uh, I'm not going to flip the rock back over, though, because I could crush it when I'm doing it. So I'll just let it go into the where I moved it to. And... See if there's anything else around here. That's great. This late in the day, I didn't, I didn't think I was going to be getting anything coming up uh, empty the whole time. But I'm pleasantly surprised. This one you can see is a little plumper than the last one I had. A little bit bigger. These ones, as far as with little kids and stuff go, these make great pets. They're, they're not very, they're not aggressive at all, and they're very nicely colored. They're Great for uh, classes and stuff. Now, here's where I moved uh, the rock to. I'm just gonna let this little guy go right under there. And there it goes. You can see it, and it's out of here. Okay, here's uh, here's the big sandy area I used to come to. I don't know if it was an old uh, gravel quarry or sand quarry or something, but right up on the other side of this little hill with the trees right there found a huge black racer at one time check that out, I don't know if you can see it um, I get close that's right probably not unfortunately that's actually snake sign right there too is that there's some skin right there, so there's a pretty good bet that up in here somewhere there's going to be one. So I'm going to keep poking around, and if I find it, I will show you. Well, I had uh, I had no luck up at that the area up the path here where that big quarry looking area is. Um, here's the sand dunes I'm back at. I don't know if you can see out there. That's 165 when my car is parked. Um, yeah, so after after I found that part of a snakeskin under those rocks, no other signs. It, it's it, You could tell probably from the camera the sunset. It's really late in the day and I thought that might serve to my advantage, thinking that 
later in the day they'd all start going under the the rocks and stuff but up in these sandy areas they're probably in the hillside in little tunnels that they that are in the sides especially up there where i was at poking around i, I found that one snake skin and nothing um not even some uh signs in the sand or anything but i, I might flip over one or two more things down here and uh take it from there see what i can come up with but yeah at least i found one so it wasn't completely um a washout so well that about does it um uh, the sun quit on me so it's pretty much calling the day for me yesterday i went out to billings lake it's a a pond in north stonington connecticut just over the line from rhode island and uh, it was after work I was poking around down there and I found another ringneck snake so I'm gonna take that ringneck snake video and tack it at the end of this just to add on to this one and uh, I ended up bringing that one back home and letting it go in my yard because it's the same type of habitat so that way it can take care of some of the pests for me out there this is uh, more of this area that I'm leaving right now. If you can see any of that. Behind those big uh, trees over here, that's 165. This is actually a pretty large area. It might not, it might not look it, but it's, it's pretty big. So that's that. Uh, that's the end of this. I might try another place I know uh, east of Hartford uh, off of Route 2 that's another state forest that is supposed to be really productive. I've been there one or two times before, found some stuff, uh, but that'll be another day. Here is uh, here's my first snake for 2012 that I've caught. This one's actually called a ringneck snake for for obvious reasons, it's got that yellow ring going around its neck. Uh, really smooth scales on it. And it's got a bright orange belly with those little black dots on it. These are one of the friendliest snakes uh, from the wild that I've ever handled in New England here. Um, Seriously, they, I mean, garter snakes are way more vicious than these. I've never been bit by one. I've handled these since I was a little kid of probably eight years old. And, uh, I mean, dozens and dozens of them i found over the years at different places. And uh, I've never had one of them bite me. And you can see here. <laughs> There's its little head. Yeah, the ring neck. It's got that shiny iridescent... Uh, color to its head and back and they actually there it is uh, some sources say that these are mildly venomous rear fanged snakes um, I don't know I can't confirm or deny that I've never like I said I've never seen one bitten the supposedly the venom that they do have is so mild that if you got bit it would feel like a, a small bee sting or something and you might not even be able to tell the difference between that and the the pain from the the teeth hurting you but supposedly like I said they're rear fanged and their uh, venom is only strong enough for things like uh, salamanders and small invertebrates and that's it but, again, I can't confirm that. I I don't think so. But, I mean, it could be the case. It's like another snake called uh, a hog-nosed snake. That one is the same way. Supposedly that one... Uh, that one, I guess, does have fangs, and they they eat toads and stuff. And they do have venom. But this... Who knows? Like I said, they uh, they're very friendly as far as snakes go. I caught it at a place called um, Billings Lake down the road in North Stonington. And I'm gonna let it go over here. But, yeah, really neat. 
Really neat snakes. They're good to have around. I mean, they, they get rid of pests. Things like grasshoppers and other bugs. They probably eat spiders and stuff. But there's its little head. Let's see if you can see under there. Under its chin. So hopefully I'll find many more of these too. I'm going to I'm gonna add to the video here, this will just be one scene, if I get other ones I'll, I'll make a whole clip or a whole video out of all the different clips from the different ones that I get. But this is another one to let go. Cool little snake. <laughs>